Okay, what I have here is I have a DC motor, which is connected in what we call the shunt wound configuration. Uh, that's where you are using a shunt winding and the armature winding. Uh, if I take a look at this, I can see that my armature voltage is sitting at 117 and a half volts. Now, the speed at which the DC motor turns is proportional to the armature voltage. My armature is rated for three amps maximum, and I have an ammeter connected to it, which shows that I am drawing 0.335 amps. DC motor. Now then, the DC motor is connected to this motor, which is part of the dynamometer. And the dynamometer is trying to turn in the counterclockwise direction. The DC motor is turning in the clockwise direction. So I can actually impart a load to the shaft of DC motor simply by increasing the torque of my of my dynamometer let's see if we can get that to work it is started so all right you can hear the motor loading okay so what is happening is the dynamometer is now uh, exerting a stronger counter torque against the dc motor so the dc motor is overriding the strength of the dynamometer, but now it is drawing 0.585 amps instead of 0.3. So as I continue to load my motor with the dynamometer, I will draw more current. Okay, we can hear it loading further, and now the DC motor is drawing in its armature, 0.88 amperes. So the whole purpose of this demonstration is to connect the DC motor to the dynamometer with a timing belt, okay? And as we talk about this further, as we look at it further, you will see that the more I load the shaft of the DC motor, the more current that it draws.